it's happening. I told you, and it's happening. I don't want a cookie or anything. I just really want it to be good. So, good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. Did you see that? Teabag on the mic. Anyways, that's a new one. But we've got a really awesome week next week, and I cannot wait for it. So, what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Fingers crossed, because I told you about this a while ago, and it's now happening. Always good win. Things that you predict, things that you hear about, follow through and happen. And Nintendo is going to have a big week. And look, at this point, I'm down for anything big, especially after hearing that Nintendo Switch 2 isn't happening until late 2024. Yeah, this is not about Nintendo Switch 2. Oh. Anyways, let's get right into it. All right, first off, we have something that isn't happening. And then we'll get into what is happening. What isn't happening our 2023 releases from Devolver Digital. They announced a Devolver Delayed Direct, which I can't help but smile at. Like this is kind of a miserable presentation. It's three minutes on August 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern. That's gonna be next Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Three minutes of delays, but I love that they're embracing it. Like I think this is a more fun style than the typical company letter. I'm guessing Plucky Squire is gonna be plucked out. No! I'm really, really not looking forward to this presentation. This is probably the least anticipated presentation that I've had in a very, very long time because I'm afraid that Pepper Grinder and Plucky Squire and maybe a few others are gonna get delayed. We did not see those appear with release dates at Devolver's summer presentation. So alas, here they go, courageously moving into 2024. But what we are getting in 2023 and what we are getting next week, what is happening is that Nintendo and the Pokemon Company are putting on their Pokemon Presents August 8th at 9 a.m. Eastern. That means boys like me are waking up at 6 a.m. over here on the Westest Coast, and hopefully it's a good show. 35 minutes of new Pokemon glory and definitely some old as well. Now, last Pokemon Presents was in February and it was a bad show. It was really a bummer. It was not worth waking up for. There was a little bit of DLC tease and not much else. Now, since then though, we've had a lot happen. All right, Pokemon Sleep is out. Thank goodness, maybe that's behind us. DLC has much more information. We just need dates. Detective Pikachu 2 has been announced and we are bound to get actual gameplay there since it was more of just like a trailer story setup in the Nintendo Direct. And then hopefully something new. And before we get any further in, I need you to burn this image into your brains. Yeah, okay. I got a Nintendo Switch OLED for $259. You probably know the retail price is $350. That's $91 off. That's the best deal ever. And you're probably thinking, Zach, it's used. It's fake. It's a scam. No, it's not. And I verified it for you because today's video is brought to you by Timu and they have an insane deal if you click the link in the description down below and use my coupon code to get a Switch OLED for $259. That's lower than Nintendo will probably ever sell it for. But I wanted to verify. I wanted to make sure that this thing was an authentic, actual Switch OLED, that you got it, that I could address any concerns, that it was real, that it comes with the real Joy-Con, that it comes with the real Switch. I know sometimes people think like, oh, they're gonna get a fake or a dupe. No, this is the actual Switch OLED for the best price you'll ever get it. I had to bring this deal to you because it's crazy. The OLED should not be this low. And this is the full system. Like it's got everything in there. And I will say there's one thing to know about this system, which is that it does come with an Asian version plug. Now the system itself is totally English, totally fine, but this plug, you'll need to get a different plug because this ain't gonna fit into your US outlets. AC adapters run like 10 to $14, so add that onto the 259 and you're still getting the best OLED deal you could possibly get. And for you guys, they added in an extra deal where you can get Tears of the Kingdom for 39 bucks. Yeah, that's a $70 game for $39, and I'll let you know, it is the Japanese version, but like I said, Switch is region free. It doesn't matter where the games come from, what country they originate, they will play on your Switch, and they will be in your native language. So you can get Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for $39, you can get the Switch OLED for $259, and these are better prices than you'll find on any Black Friday deal, any Amazon Prime deal. It's truly amazing. I know some people were curious if this was legit, and that's why I did the legwork to test it out for you. I bought one, it came, it's legit, it works. And every time you click the link in the description down below, it helps support the channel. And again, it's the best OLED deal ever. I couldn't not bring it to you because you'll never find a better price. Timu has a bunch of other Nintendo stuff as well, like this 
adorable, voluptuous Snorlax hand puppet plush that goes from Ditto to Ditto Snorlax. Love that a lot. And then we got the sword of Switch. Okay, this sword houses your right Joy-Con if you want to play this way, but then it also stores six games. I got a whole library of Nintendo goodness. I thought this was pretty cool for 12 bucks. I like this a lot. You can play with it, and you can also just use it as, like, the sickest carrying case ever. This one looked pretty fantastic as well. This is, like, a complete Nintendo Switch armoire, okay? It holds the games, the carts, the controllers, the Joy-Con, the Switch, the dock, and it charges them up, too, which is pretty darn nifty. This is only $30. Normally, I'd expect something like this to cost about double, so it's actually very good savings. So grab yourself an OLED to upgrade your Switch experience. Click the link in the description down below. New users, use my coupon code, and I can attest that it's real. I wouldn't advertise it to you unless it was actually true and legit. That's why I checked, and we're good. Now, you know in these 35 minutes, they're going to pad things out with TCG news and mobile app news, but there is a good likelihood that we set the stage for the next Pokemon stuff. A lot of people are pointing out that due to the Pokemon Presents teaser featuring neon iconography, there will be a Detective Pikachu movie announcement. Now, we know that the Mario Bros. movie did stellar, so even though there's been a lot of reports that there wasn't going to be a sequel to Detective Pikachu, maybe instead we're going to get one. And I'd be all for that. I think the first movie was very fun, but for a Pokemon Presents as, as a Switch owner, that doesn't quite do it for me. And I think we will get more than just that. I think Detective Pikachu will get sort of the main focus. There's a game, there's quite possibly a movie, but they need to set up what's next for Pokemon. Look, Detective Pikachu 2 is cute and cool, but it's the most spinning off of spin-offs. It's off the, the main path for Pokemon in a significant way. They will want to set the stage for what's coming in 2024 from Pokemon. And whether that is a throwback Let's Go style game, whether that's a new Mystery Dungeon title, while well, that's something in the Pokemon Legends style, I don't know. But I do think we'll be getting a new Pokemon announcement, and I think it'll be significant. Much more than, like, Pokemon Sleep 2, or Pokemon Cafe Remix reverb edition like we're gonna get something substantial i think and that should be exciting if i had to throw it out there there's been rumors about the mystery dungeon there's been rumors about something uh from the black and white era and i feel like that is probably the most likely i don't know if i want to call it a remake or a remix one of the two something of that sort is what i feel will happen but i'd be down for a sequel to pokemon legends arceus maybe a legends just goes and beats its own brand like we've been hoping and thinking it won't be Gen 10, so don't expect Gen 10. We're still firmly in the Scarlet Violet Gen 9 era, and we still have yet to see any of the DLC. I'm interested, though, to see when those DLCs pop. I'm wondering if they will use September as a launch pad for one, considering that September does not have a main first-party Switch game, and I think that would be a fine time for them to release and get a lot of hype and hopefully move the Scarlet Violet machine forward. If they can include some performance fixes alongside the new content, that would be miraculous. I'm not hoping for it, but after seeing the slowdown of sales, 20 million right away, and then only 2.8 million since, uh, let's let's go. We need to fix this so this game can continue. It, it should be doing far better. I know 22 million is a lot, but it really, based on past entries, should be doing far better considering the quality and the scope in Area Zero. That game is way cooler than it gets credit for, unfortunately, because of self-inflicted performance wounds. So, that showcase will be next Tuesday, bright and early, 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern. Hopefully, we do have some really good Pokemon stuff for the next 6 to 12 months. If you're looking for a game to play right now, though, Dragon Ball Fighters is going to be your Nintendo Switch game trial of the month week. August 4th, that's today, starting now. You can play Dragon Ball Fighters for a week. It is the full game trial. You download it, and then typically there's like a sale that allows you to like purchase the game and keep it. This is a really good fighter if you're into that sort of thing. Crazy attacks, and probably, in my opinion, the best representation of the insanity that is Dragon Ball Z. I loved Dragon Ball Z when I was younger. It was one of me and my brother's favorite shows. A lot of nostalgia. Unfortunately, I'm not really great at this game. It is going to be 84% off, though. Just notice that, so... Heck of a good deal if you do want to get in and grab it. But I'm most excited for what is happening. And I guess what's not happening. Because I do feel like the developer presentation will illuminate if we are going to get any of these games on Switch before the end of the year. My bet would be Gunbrella comes out in 2023. 
Pepper Grinder and Plucky Squire get delayed. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and let me know what you're hoping to see in the Pokemon Presents. And let me know if you're going to pick up one of them OLEDs at that super great discount. Like I said, I, I verified the thing and made sure I did not want anybody getting, you know, burned or screwed over or anything. So I took the time to order, make sure, and buy it and see if it was legit. And yeah, it is. Thank goodness, because that would have been really awkward. Until next time, though, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive out there. Love you lots. Switch Force, out.